So great, we're in Tampa. I mean, we're at Lottery Park Zoo in Tampa, Florida. Jay, where we at? Okay, Dynamic duo, where we at? Okay. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up, birthday boy. Birthday boy one and two. Thank you. The dynamic, the youngest What's dynamic duo that? birthday is February His 21st. Birthday. His birthday coming up. All right. You wanna go look at the snake show? No, that's okay. He's a Roma python. Yeah, so oh, I'm so, what, is that what you were gonna say? Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, pumpkin here. He is a Roma python, and they are going to be native to Australia. So you're not gonna find them wandering around out here in Florida. And if you do, please call Florida Fish and Wildlife. Now, Pumpkin here, he is a ground-dwelling species, and out there in Australia, the dirt and sand is a bit more yellowy-orange than it is here, so that's going to be where this coloration comes in handy. This is going to help him blend right into his environment, and out there you can find him, again, slithering around on the ground. He can be found in burrows, abandoned burrows from other animals, hollowed-out logs, and all those nooks and crannies that maybe rocks create and things like that. Now he is a non-venomous species, so you don't have to worry about that bite or anything. He is a constrictor species, which means that he does have to squeeze his prey in order to subdue it and eat it, but he does it in a very special way. So most constrictors, when they're gonna go ahead and eat their meal, they're gonna go ahead and wrap around it nice and tightly to crush all of those bones and to squeeze the air out of it. But for Pumpkin here, he does it in, I would say, reverse constriction, if that's how you'd like to think of it. So he's going to go into those burrows and those tight spaces with his prey. And instead of going in and squirts, 
trapping his prey in between himself and the wall of where he's at. So that's, again, why I kind of call it a reverse constriction, but it is constricting nonetheless. Now, just because he's a ground-dwelling species doesn't mean he can't climb. Kind of like us, we don't live in trees, but we can still climb them. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let Pumpkin explore up here a little. To come right back to me, he is absolutely more than welcome to. Is that what you want to do? You want to hang out on the tree? It's up to you, buddy. Now, this is going to be a form of enrichment for pumpkin. So, enrichment is just something that mentally, physically, or socially stimulates our animals in, you know, hopefully new and exciting ways, or it elicits natural behavior. So, like I said, pumpkin out there, he's not going to live up in trees. So, this is going to be a great new form of exercise for him. It also offers him a lot of different scents because we can put other reptiles up here like some of our other snakes, squirrels and wild birds roam around this tree, but also uh, we bring other animals like our macaws out here. So right now he's just taking all of that in. It's also a different texture compared to the trees he has in his habitat. So all of this is hopefully, you know, intriguing to him and you can definitely see him exploring and slithering around. You might even see his tongue flicker in and out. That is how a snake smells. So yeah, there it is. So snakes, they have a forked tongue. And what's gonna happen is that tongue's gonna flicker out. It's gonna flicker back in. And when it goes back in, it's gonna hit something called a Jacobson's organ. And that's just gonna tell the snake if whatever they're smelling is more to the left or more to the right. It's kind of similar to how we can smell if something's a little bit more to the left or to the right, but theirs is way more advanced and it's gonna be one of their primary senses. So if pumpkin smells a nice juicy rat on the left, he knows to go that way, but if he smells something that he might deem to be a threat to the right, he knows to you know stay away from that side of things. Now pumpkin here, he does come in at around five and a half feet in length, but we do consider him fully grown. Now typically that also comes with air quotations around it because snakes, they never stop growing. What's gonna happen is a snake is gonna grow every time it sheds. So when it's younger, it's gonna happen a lot more often and it's a lot more obvious, but as they get older like pumpkin, he's gonna be around uh, 11 years old. It's gonna slow way down and he's only gonna shed maybe every other month, every three months or so. When a snake sheds, it's gonna shed everything from the very tip of its nose all the way down to the very tip of its tail all in one go. And after that, like I said, it's gonna grow just a little bit. But that growth is so much so that they are able to come out and meet all of you. But if you are not prepared to take on that responsibility, it's probably not gonna work out the same. So for something like reptiles, it is so important to do your research with them. So first and foremost, you wanna make sure that they're coming from a good source. Oftentimes, reptiles are victims of the illegal wildlife trade, and that's just where someone, they'll go out in the wild, they'll see something they like that they think is cool, and they will sell it. They don't normally care who to and what their intentions are, so it's really important that our animals are coming from a reputable breeder or rescue. After that, you need to make sure that you can properly accommodate their size, because if you space for them, that can be a really big issue for the both of you. Now, after that, you need to make sure that you know what they eat and how often they eat. Snakes, their metabolism is a lot slower than ours, so they are not eating three times a day, every single day. Pumpkin here, he eats every other week. Some of our snakes only eat two times a month. So you need to make sure that you are doing research on that as well, because if you feed It's a Komodo dragon. It's a big lift. Dre, you see the tiger? Come on, Jay. We're gonna look at the tiger's face. Oh, 
Dre, you see the tiger? Dre, you see the tiger? Hmm. Oh, Lord. Roman, you talking to somebody? All right, Mark, Mark, uh, uh, Jay. Let's go look at the next animal. The sloth bear, I think. Oh, a lowland anoa. I think that's how you say it. Oh, look at this, Jay. That's uh, a noah. A N O A. I don't really know. You want to see the water? Okay. I don't know what's over there. Come on, Jay, 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 Jay. Oh, you need to see it? The bear's on the other side. Okay, I thought the bear was down here. I'm like, why are they stopping here? Jay is right here, the Malayan sun bear. He was getting some water, I think. All right, let's go. We saw the Malayan Asian bear. The Malayan sun bear. Jay, let's go look at the next animal, please. Say excuse me. This is still where the bear is at. Y'all didn't want to see these birds in here? I guess not. Y'all kept going. Rhino. Rhino. Yeah. It was a rhino. See, Tell I us the fun it. fact about this rhinoceros. Oh, okay. Read it. Rhinos have poor vision but large swiveling ears provide excellent hearing and their sense of smell is very well developed. Adults are mostly solitary and can live up to 45 years and weigh 4,500 pounds or 4,500 pounds. The armor-plated look results from large folds in its bumpy, hairless skin, which is kept supple by wallowing in mud or water. Without looking, do you know what country it's from? India and Nepal. You just read it already. I read it because... Is it an endangered species? It says because... India. Is it an endangered species? Yes. <laughs> it says it right here. It, and it says Indian rhinoceros. So how would I not know? Where does that come from? Well, Nepal. I don't know. Nepal is not India, so... <laughs> yeah, I normally see one too. Dre. Yeah, you ready to go see something else? You ready to go see something else? Let's go to the um, the water, I think. Manatees. Indian Godrail. Godail or something. Gyro. Um, turtles. Uh, it's a it's a type of reptilian, like a, a alligator, but it's an Indian gorilla. Gorilla. Galarian. And then some turtles and some, I think koi, some type of fish. I think. And that's a water. Yeah, they got a little waterfall. I feel like that's two cans. It's some type of bird. It's 
Yeah. All right, let's go look at get your water bottle, Jay. Huh? Mari Ronald, can you put that in my bag? You you want your? Oh yeah, it is two type of turtles. Jay, hand me your water bottle so you don't lose it. Where are the spotted turtles? Thank you. They're probably swimming around somewhere. Which part of the bag? The top part. The ones that are right there look like great. But that's that one over there. The third one and the first one are look spotted to me. Thank it, Ronald. Oh yeah, they do. Um, these turtles are four to seven. Ooh, Cambodia, Vietnam, Laos. Oh, I thought you was going, sorry. Endangered? South Asia. Whoa, whoa. Ooh, what do we have here? I've been torong. Where is it? Can you see it? Smells it smells like Cheetos. It's brown, so let's look for it. Right? A binturong. I buy something with my little eye. It looks like it's in the back, back there. On the other side, like it's probably with the people who work here. Something's moving behind this little gate right here. See the little brown gate? Something's moving back there. You see what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah, I see the brown gate. But this big old brown gate that's surrounding yeah, the whole thing. Yeah. Something is moving back there. All right, let's go uh, go down. Wow. That's oh, over. That's there. Oh, we're meeting Black Jordan. You want to go run? Oh, so you must be going to chase him. In that, in those bushes. Chase him. I said chase him. You see it? You see it? It's right there. I see Drizzy! Hey, chocolate. Hey, chocolate. 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 Chocolate! Oh, now you're smiling. Didn't even, didn't even know you could. I didn't even know. I didn't even know you could smile. And she's smiling. I'm sorry. Can I get some Cheetos from the bag? Oh, almost got ran over. My bad. Chocolate. Chocolate. You trying to take my nose out, huh? Look like his mama. All right. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Yeah, what movie I got that from? What movie I got that from? Bubbles! Uh, I don't know. Ronnie, you remember? Huh? What movie I got that from? Finding Nemo! Hey, all the rest of y'all suck. Bubbles! <laughs> Oh, you! Oh, you saw you laughing because it's like almost dropped you. He just started smiling. Uh, oh yeah. He said my name. He said Zaya. Oh, he said oh yeah. It's like he started smiling when Zaya moved him. Yes. Yes. Ronald, can you go in the back and get the uh, lunch box in there? What's whose name? The right now we don't know. Or you, your brother? The child you holding? Seriously, your mark. The lunch box. Yeah, you see? The rhinos that we saw when we was up there. Yeah, <laughs> Trey! You're not even looking, Dre. No, he's oh, looking at me. <laughs> hey! She not even a you, you mad? Can I get him now? No! <laughs> get him in the car. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> Oh, it's not even open yet. Oh, let's look at the uh, Red Wolf. Oh, on April 28th, four pups were born to Mama Nymera.
You see the wolf? Huh? The wolf? How? Jay, stop. Yeah, you want those to get us? Look at it. They gonna get bite them. you. Look at them. They look like D Dre. <laughs> Yeah, you know, like dogs are like descendants of wolves. Look, look, okay. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you didn't know that. Oh. Canines, that, that's what they're all called canines. And you know, you got cats or felines. Felines. <laughs> Pay attention. No, I'm just Where is the eagle? It's coming to the right side, Amari. Must be gone for now. They're probably moving it around because they uh re remodeling this stuff. Well, I didn't see it. Ouch! Jay and Amari, give people like, like personal space. Look up there, they have things you can read. Jay? Jay, big sis just want to pick you up. Jay, Azaya said she's going to help you. She's going to pick you up. Let's keep picking me. Me neither. I never paid attention to that either. Jay, come on now. That's nasty. Dang, you and Dre got the same size. Wait, you mean? Dre still got baby fat. Dre. Now we can see y'all. <laughs> the difference between toads and frogs are that toads are bumpy and not smooth. Their skin isn't smooth and it's bumpy. But frog skin is smooth and it's not bumpy. It's slimy. Oh, look at the turtles. Eastern glass. Little baby size turtles. You see the snake right there oh, at the bottom. Oh, was up there. Oh no, it's down at the bottom. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dre. I'm looking at the, sorry, I'm looking at the little Nemos. Yeah, they're classic. What's all this a joke? But I do know this one joke. What fish? So it was a mullet. <laughs> what fish makes a joke? A clown fish. Uh, like. It's supposed to be a joke. Merlin from uh, Finding that? Nemo. Isn't that a hermit crab? I don't know. Is it a hermit crab or is it some type of snail? Let's see, see? what the sign says. Hold on. We're gonna. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna, Wait, Mari. Yeah. I think it's a pet.
peppermint shrimp. Okay, all right, let's try this side, Mari. I didn't hear you. Say it again. Four clownfish, but no, it's just the sun. Ooh, what's in here? I can't even Five see. Five line skink. I wonder what a skink is. So do I. Can't even see it. Five line skink. Let's see if we can find some type of critter, a reptilian, a or an amphibian. I don't see anything. I didn't see anything. What if they're behind the trees? Mommy? Well, I don't know what I'm looking for. What is this? It says striped or striped newt. Oh, I see it. I just saw it go that way. Oh, it looks like a salamander. Oh, I don't like how there's a skull right there. It's a cave salamander. So where is it? Wait, I think I see it. There's a skull right there. Maybe it died. Yeah, maybe it's or maybe inside it's, the skull, maybe? Or maybe it's underwater. But maybe they're using the skull because it's a cave salamander and maybe it likes to be inside caves. Oh, I see it. I see it. It's under that rock right there. I see it. It's slimy kind of. It's under oh, that rock. I do see it. Yeah, I see it. Oh, cool. Okay, let's look at this uh, fish. Barracudas, long goose gar, a Florida gar, and a blue gill. Well, that's the biggest one in there. It looks like a shark. It must be the long, is it the Florida gar? I wonder. Whoa, why does it look so weird? Well, that way. Isaiah has Jay. Well, I'm going to look right here. Whoa, look at this. Look at this. It's a turtle. It's a turtle. It looks like blue. It's just right there. Oh, it's going into the other room. Wait, that's a spotted turtle. Wait, those are connected to each other. It's all connected. Yeah. Oh, it's so cute. Let's see the spotted salamander here. Oh, found it. Can you find the spotted salamander? Oh, I found it. It's right there. It's so cool. Oh, what's in here? Don't know. It says a Cuban tree frog. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. About it being slimy and smooth and not bumpy like a... To not tortoise. <laughs> a toad? I, I get mixed up with turtles and tortoise and frogs. Well, I don't really get mixed up with frogs and toads, but... Tropical hammock. Must be the type of tree that's uh, here. Uh, it's not here. I wish it was here. Give it to it could be behind the toe. Nope. Huh? So it could be behind the toe. Whoa, what's in here? Come on, let's go see more fish. Come on. Oh, it's a big headed fish. Look at that. Oh, it's an Amari. Oh, it's an Amari fish. It got a big head because it's Einstein and it's smart. Look, there's a fish right there. The golf total fish. Yeah. There's a fish right there. The sheep egg. Can't we call it? Can't my, what's this body of water that surrounds Florida? Huh? What's the name of the body of waters that surrounds Florida? Is it the ocean? The Gulf Stream? The Gulf is on the left or the right? Uh, the left. Okay, and what's on the right side? Is it the Pacific? The Atlantic? The, the in Atlantic. All right, good job. I learned it in school. Woo! Woo! Let's find Nemo, guys. Where's Nemo? Why are they Where are you coming? Look at this beautiful fish. It's a large head sea catfish. And there's a beautiful, 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 beautiful fish. Look, Dre.
Whoa. <laughs> and what's that all the way down here? Oh my god, it looks dead. Ooh. It's a gray grouper. It's a his eye is missing. Oh, I'm wrong. It's a gag grouper. I said gray. I can't read. It looks dead. His eye is missing. It look like it. Wait, wait. No, it's not dead. It's a lie. It would have been belly up if it was dead and at the top. We just saw upside down jellyfish. See, he only has one eye. Come on, you feel what I'm saying? It looked like he's smiling. Hey. That's what probably took his eye. There's a fish right there. Just chilling. It's probably sleeping. That's probably what it was doing, sleeping. I wonder. I don't know what a fish looks like when it's sleeping. Look at the... Uh, Bulletin lionfish. Bulletin? Oh, this blue is so beautiful. I love it. It's the aliens. Aliens of the bay. Oh, there's something in here. A nizzle? But there's a fish right there. That one eyed fish was so scary. What'd you say? The one-eyed fish was so scary. Mm -hmm. It's a jellyfish. Let's look over here, Mari. Oh, yeah. It's a striped buffer. Burfish. I mean. Burfish. I wish it was a buffer. Bur bur and not a pot of puffers. Thought you somebody else can't, bro. It's a burfish. Oh, I see it now. I was like, dude, there's nothing over here. Look. It's an iguana on the other side. You want to go to the other side to see it? Yeah, you can see it. You're closer over here. Amari, just say, excuse me. Okay. There you go. There you go. We should look at the... It's a Cuban iguana. The Cuban iguana. Let's look at the upside down. Let's look at the upside down jellyfish. Everybody get your person. Ooh. It's too bright. Oh, it's so scary. Oh, sorry, Amari. Oh, there we go. Oh, my God. It's so scary. The jellyfish at the bottom. That's not close. Yeah, the jellyfish are all at the bottom. And they're upside down. So, I think they just... Jay? There's even some in the hole. There's nothing in there, Jay. It says, please excuse us as this habitat is being refurbished. Which means no animals are in there. Ugh, look at that. Alright, let's come over to the line seahorse. Seahorse! Jay, but I can tell you. Whoa. No, you're not listening. Oh, Jay, about to get in trouble. Oh, Jay, look, the manatees that you already saw, I'm sure. Jay, this way. This way, Jay. It's rainbow right there, kind of. It's a whole of the water. Yeah, there's a turtle all the way over there. There's a turtle right here. There's a turtle. It's so blue, it's so hard to see. <laughs> what are you doing? What are they doing? They're playing with each other. I just wanted to see all of the zoom in, you know. Because it was sticking in one spot. It's probably this right here. 
Now you can kind of see it. It's a seat. It's a seat. It's a big manatee. And there's a kind of a manatee right there. Hey, and I'm cute. Oh, there's another sea turtle. And turtles are cute. Wait, why if I zoom in, it's more blue. But when I zoom out, it's more greenish. It's rainbow waves right there because of the sun and it's rainbow waves because of the sun and the um and the water. It's rainbow because of the sun and the water. And the water prisms. Even even the camera just looks rainbow. Their habitat is shallow coastal marine area and freshwater river and springs. Their diet is sea grasses and other freshwater vegetables. At least they're not endangered. Ooh, let's go over here. Ooh, that one that's all the way right there looks like a mermaid painted. tail. Yeah. The manatee's tail Ooh. looks like a mermaid tail. There's a turtle. Yeah. So hard to see anyway. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah. But why does it look like there's oh, there it is. why does it look like okay. there's scratches on on that um what is it called? That um I keep forget that manatee. It looks like there's scratches on it or they painted it. They probably marked it so they know which one is which. Whoa! Sea turtle! Meet Kayo or Kayo. Kayo. Yeah. Whoa, that sea turtle looks so oh, wow, cool. Spider webs too. Yeah, spider webs. <laughs> scary. Spider. Ooh, let's go over here. Whoa, it's right there. Eating food for its vegetation. Ooh, let's go over here. Oh look! You turned us up here on top of the water. Oh, I didn't even see that. Can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. Whoa, it just keeps hitting his head. Oh! There they are, playing on the other side. Yeah, but we should go over here. It's the PB and J otters. Yeah, the North American River otters, and the people up there that can see the better. View. Is it floating on the algae? It uh, looks like it. Or is it on land? Because it's over there. I don't know. Because the, the water is so mossy and algae. Yeah, that's the alligator. That it looks like it's alligator. Don't do that. It's the panther. It's a panther. That's the animal you were sucking my earlier that you really want to see. It's Walter.
<laughs> Are you sure about that? I think he wants his dad. Wait, All right, right here. How many miles of trails are within the current Florida Wildlife Corridor? Answer. 6,300 6, miles of trails are within the corridor. What is one thing you can do to help protect Florida's landscape? Take a answer. Take a Buy food with fresh from Florida label. Visit state parks. Go biking, hiking, and paddling in the corridor. Follow and support organizations like the Florida Wildlife Corridor. We don't talk about Bruno. How many alligators are there in currently in the in Florida's wetlands? Seven thousand. It says approximately one point two. Hey, can you stop? How is Zoo Tampa helping the native al alligator populations? Zoo Tampa permanently houses alligators that were deemed non releasable due to injury or status as nuisance to humans. These animals will live out their lives here at the zoo. Whoa, what the hell? Okay, I'm not doing this no more. Let's look at the owl. Yeah, we shouldn't do all of Oh, they got another alligator. Whoa! No, it's walking around. Like a crocodile. Um, I know that he he just said crocodile. He know how to talk. Who? Oh. No, he said I look like a crocodile. He said crocodile. <laughs> Maybe he do. I don't know. Oops, sorry. So you hit me instead? The great horned owl is over here, G uh, Drizzy. Dre, Jay, up on top of this box at the top. You see it? DeAndre. You scared too? <laughs> Come here, Jay. Come on, let's go see some more animals. Let's go see some more animales. <gasps> Look at the uh, planter inside the thing over there. Went to the other side. Oh, it's about to come out. Jay, you know you already fell, right, bruh? No. Yeah, the yes. The first time I let you loose. Ooh, let's go look at the bear. The bear over there. Jay. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome to Jay. the big blue house. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the big blue house. It's a black bear. You do want the water? Amari, I mean, Ronald has it. Ronald has it. Get it from Ronald. Mm -mm. Let's see if you want to stand. Come on this side, guys. The what, Jay? The what, Jay? What is called? Flamingo. 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 Yeah, but he need the proper shoes to help him. I think there's some sandhill cranes all the way in the back. So, like those who are getting the water. I hope the skunk doesn't have to kill Eastern box turtle. Where are they? Don't let the skunk spray. Yeah, don't let the skunk spray.
that an emu? Let's look at these little owls and box turtles. Uh, -hoo, hoo -hoo. The box turtles are all here. It says Gulf Coast box turtles. Yeah. Jay, look. Jay, Mark, can you Ooh, look, look at this. Amari and Jay, take a picture. Ooh. Say bros for life. Bros for life. Bros for life. Mark, the dynamic to Isaiah. A few moments later. Oh. What are those? Uh, something. Oh my god. Uh, a goose? I don't know. Some more. Uh, this is an Arctic wolf. Red wolf? What kind is it? Let's just get another red wolf. All right, we saw those already. Oh. 40 to 60 years in the wild, moves at a speed of less than five miles per hour. Tortoise shell. What does a t gopher tortoise feel like? Or oh, this one. Tortoise shell and tortoise scales. Gopher cricket, mole skink, gopher tortoise, mother mouse, Florida bank scorpion, bark scorpion. Eastern indigo snake, very, very owlsy. Eastern diamondback rattlesnake. I wish they were actually diamond. Ooh, so cool. Oh, look at this one. Mari, are you late to class? Yeah. Yeah. Three. Wait. What's that? Four. Four dances. Four. Yeah. Four. There's a Mario the Great. A Mario the Great. Jay the Tyrant. Jay the Tyrant and Mario the Great. And J Dre the Chocolate Drop. Or Dre Drizzy. Can you count in Spanish? No, it's right there. Say it, <laughs> then count. One, two, three, four, five. That's not Spanish. Once, twice, 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 Vente uno, vente dos, vente tres, vente cuatro, vente cinco, vente siete, vente ocho, vente nueve, treinta. Treinta y uno, you're leaving some stuff. Hi, everybody. I'm hiding. I'm in here. Jake, Jake, come in. Oh, Zeus. This, what did he say? Oh, it's time for us to go now. Oh. Hurry up. Bye, everybody. It's the dynamic duo at your service of the end of the video and the end of the day. If you want to like and subscribe, and if you want to see more at Larry Park Zoo, just come to me. Where is it? In Florida, Tampa. Tampa, Florida. Two, three. Cheese. Cheese. Oh, we're getting these ladybugs. Ooh, ladybugs. Tampa Zoo Tampa at Lari Park Zoo. Hey, And what type of animals are ladybugs? Do you know? I know. They're beetles. You see my car over there? Yeah. Okay. This is what you have to do for toddlers when they keep running around at the zoo and trying to splash in puddles.
Woo! <laughs> <laughs>